Judge crushes Obama's DACA dreams. Trump finishes them off with four brutal words by Dan Lindsay Politics, U.S. News for MadWorldNews.com. A federal judge in Maryland just crushed the Barack Obama's DACA dreams in a landmark ruling. Now President Donald Trump just finished them off with four brutal words that you don't want to miss. According to The Hill, uh, Judge uh, Roger W. Titus, who was appointed by former President George W. Bush, ruled on Monday, March 5, 2018, that President Donald Trump acted within his authority to rescind former President Barack Obama's executive order on deferred action for childhood arri arrivals DACA. Obama issued his original executive order, in 2012 in order to protect illegal immigrants who were brought to the United States as minors. Trump ended the order over a six-month period while members of Congress did next to nothing to resolve the issue. Although Titus ruled in favor of the Trump administration, he was quick to point out that he didn't like the outcome of the case but acknowledged his role as part of the judiciary branch of our government and not the legislative branch. This court does not like the outcome of this case, but is constrained by its constitutionally uh, limited role to the result that it has reached, Judge Roger Titus said in his opinion. Hopefully, the uh, Congress and the President will finally get their job done, Titus added an overwhelming per uh, percentage of American support protections for DREAMers, yet uh, it is not the province of the judiciary to pro uh, provide legislative or executive action when those uh, entrusted with those responsibilities fail to act. Uh, no, it's not an overwhelming of per a percentage of Americans support the DREAMers. No, they don't. So uh, DACA was Obama's way around Congress and an explicit act to circumvent the will of the American people. There you have it, you see? Circumvent. So who never had a chance to vote on allowing millions of illegal immigrants to stay in the country at our own expense. So why is it overwhelming uh, they want DACA? No, it's not an overwhelming uh, People don't want this at their own expense. Expense. Last year, Trump moved to end DACA and told Congress to do their part in finding a solution to the mess created by Obama. As they often do, Congress failed to act. Now, there's a surprise, right? Let's hear a little bit over here. Judge uh, rules in favor of Trump on DACA. Sorry about that. Uh, he felt it was unconstitutional. He said, I'm going to give Congress six months to fix it. Well, yesterday was the six-month mark. And what happened with Congress? They did nothing. Actually, they, there was action up on Capitol Hill. Yeah. 87 people were arrested. There were protesters. They were uh, chained to each other. They were blocking traffic because they wanted to make a point. Look, we're in this country. Congress, do something. Congress hasn't done anything. The president's waiting. Luckily, some judges have done some stuff. Yeah, this federal judge over in Maryland ruled that President Trump, uh, unlike the other judge that ruled at Knight District uh, Court, had the right to end DACA. The judge's name is uh, Roger Titus. He was a Bush appointee, and he ruled Monday that President had acted within his authority in his plan to rescind the executive order that President Obama put out. And it's kind of mentioned this is really not constitutional. What I understand for the, from legal minds said, but when President Trump immediately extended it when he took office, he uh, evidently, according to some judges, uh, legalized it because it looks like he uh, backed up Obama's decision. So when the president said, no, it expires March 5th, now they say, uh, this judge says, yeah, you had every right to be able to do that. My worry is that this needs to be addressed and we need to get money for a wall. And knowing that, I wanted both sides with their back against the wall, pun not intended, to make a decision on this, because we've been talking about comprehensive reform, uh, immigration reform for 20 years. Even Jessica Tarlow, who's a Democrat, she was on the show earlier, and she was saying that Democrats mm -hmm. are nowhere to be seen, that mm -hmm. they really need to get on board with this. There have been talks, a lot of Republicans say Democrats don't want to do anything about DACA, because they want, come election time, to be able to say, this president wanted to kick you out of mm -hmm. the country, and we wanted you to stay. And they want that narrative to help them right. win elections. So yesterday was the sixth month, Congress had done nothing, and President Trump tweeted this. It's March 5th and the Democrats are nowhere to be found on DACA. Gave them six months. 
They just don't care. Where are they? We are ready to make a deal. Well, just one other point that federal judge, uh, Judge Titus, that uh, Brian was talking about, in his uh, opinion, he also slammed his colleagues in other courts uh, for their decisions. Uh, essentially, he said they were putting their politics ahead of the law. Yeah, you think so? It's good. Just a little bit. It. And Do DACA recipients are upset about this. I mean, don't let the Democrats lead you to believe right. that they're not, that they like nothing to be done. They've been protesting. They were protesting in front of well, Schumer's well, office. They've been pro had all those protests yeah. yesterday. Well, I don't, I don't love that attitude. This is in front of Schumer's house also, where he lives, not the office only. Favor for them. They don't belong here. This is a fix for that. Their parents brought them here. I get it. But they can't walk around arrogantly pounding on doors you're demanding right. citizenship. Right. What you're about right. everybody else that's doing it the right way? Right. To me, if you're a Dockery or a potential Dockery recipient, sit back, let this thing play out. They've got to change the law. The president can do executive action. That's what President Obama did. And now look where we are. Only Congress can act. Will they? Stay tuned. Lindsey Graham on last night with Shannon Bream said that we have 54 votes on the rounds bill. If they can make it better, more to the president's liking with the uh, lottery and uh, with the lottery and the uh, chain, migration. chain migration. Let's say three, get, give them one more or one with a promise to look at in a year. You go and go ahead and negotiate. Get this thing done. Right. It's six votes short. All right. Most interesting. That well, it's nice to know. As usual, Democrats are nowhere to uh, be found. Uh, after the devastating ruling was announced, President Trump had four brutal words for Democrats in a fiery Twitter post. Trump said federal judge in Maryland has just ruled that President Trump, why does he refer to himself like that? President Trump has the right to end DACA. President Obama had eight years to fix this problem and didn't. I, want, I am waiting for the Dems, they are running for the hills. <laughs> they are. They are. They don't want any part of this now. I could just imagine. In the aftermath of Obama's destructive administration, we are left with this mass of activist judges who create a situation where our own president has to defend his authority in court. Not only is this an outrage to the American people, but also a national embarrassment. No other country in the world attacks its own leaders as we have since Trump took office. That's true. It's embarrassing. This nonsense has got to stop. There is clearly an infrastructure of liberals within our government who need to remember that their first responsibility is to uphold the laws of our country. Thank God President Donald Trump has the tenacity and strength to end illegal immigration despite the constant attacks on him and his family. Absolutely. Absolutely. So true. And you know Congress ain't doing anything, right? So uh, there you have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.